Hey guys, it's Troy here, back with another Troy vs. Custom track. Today we are tackling Shadow Woods, and we are playing this one not because it's necessarily super difficult. I actually always praise this course as being one that's very similar to Nintendo courses in length and just design. I really enjoy this one. It's actually my friend and Mead's favorite course for the custom tracks. So I wanted to do it on her and play, play this track today, because today's a day where I always you know, I always end up playing with Enmead. It's Monday. That is Race to 9999 day. The reason why there's no Race to 9999 uh, today is because Enmead quit on the series, guys. He just said he wasn't good enough and he was too nervous to continue. He said that he, he knew it was pointless and he's going to be dressing up in a fish costume pretty soon. No, I'm just kidding. So actually, the reason why is because my recording corrupted. Right when I clicked stop on the recording, my software froze and the recording is just nowhere to be seen. So I'm really bummed about that. And we're just gonna have to record it later this week. So expect Race to 99 showing up in your sub boxes around like Wednesday or something instead. So we'll still have it this week. It's just going to be a little bit later than usual. So thank you for being patient with that. Apologies in advance. Trust me, I was really bummed. And I feel really bad for inconveniencing Envy because we recorded those late night and I waited till the last minute recording it Sunday night and I paid the price. So I just realized I have three mushrooms and <laughs> I didn't use them, so we just used them there. Okay, so we just got 133.085 and we are unlocking the expert staff ghost. A fast staff ghost has appeared. Ooh, the fast staff ghost is Russo X with a 13061. Not surprised, Mr. Russo always with the fast staff ghost. Guys, ready for this? This is gonna blow your mind. 124.776 Shadow Woods with the Dolphin Dasher is the best time, the record on this track. That is so cool, a Dolphin Dasher world record. Even though it's a custom track, how awesome is that? Okay, so we're gonna watch Ryan's ghost and see what he does, because it looks like we're gonna be using the Dolphin Dasher today and not the Flame Runner. Okay, so I did kind of plan this out, not gonna lie. I did know this was a Dolphin Dasher best time, and I always thought it was so cool. I thought, probably a lot of you don't know about this, but you guys know about the shortcut, and the shortcut is the whole reason why. I wanna see how quickly we can beat this expert staff ghost with the broken Dolphin Dasher. And the thing is, is I already have the generic lines for the track down for the most part. It's a very simplistic course. I might give it a few runs with the Flame Runner, but I actually just want to use the Dolphin Dasher and see how broken it is. <laughs> and um, the Dolphin Dasher is actually... Oh, you could do that. Shroomless. That's broken. Yeah, it's six seconds ahead of Russo's time. So that is quite... Quite the amount when you're playing a track this short, especially when it's Russo X's Ghost. This is such a cool... Such a cool run here. I'm really digging this. I'm gonna watch one more lap because it's a very short track. I'm gonna watch the shortcut done one more time. So give me a second, guys. It looks like he goes wide here. Does a, does a spin drift, gets the trick. Heads for the stump, gets the flip trick. It's so weird how you can trick off the sand. It is so strange. One of the weirdest decisions for Sneaky to make about the track. Okay, so I gotta remember to do a, a trick off that mushroom. It's kind of complicated. It's a little bit complicated. Hopefully I can remember all of this. All right, let's give it a shot. Yahoo! Whoa, I just instinctively went to mock bike. <laughs> all right, this looks really funny. Me squaring up against a Russo X with the Dolphin Dasher. That's normally a bad time. Ooh, that's not a good start of boost. Wow, they used the mushroom right there, I guess, for the Flame Runner. I'm going really wide here. And then I'm hitting plenty of off-road. This is not pretty. I'm hitting walls. I'm hitting more walls. Wow, that was pitiful and I'm still this close. Quite funny, okay. So I'm gonna make sure I hit that. You know what guys? I'm gonna get better at the Dolphin Dash, I promise. You guys are a little bit shook right now. You guys are like, wow, Troy's never used this vehicle in his life. But that is not true, guys. I was a Dolphin Dash main for about two hours back in 2008. I remember the Dolphin Dasher days. That's not optimal. I'm gonna have to seriously focus here. There's a lot, I'm doing a lot wrong here. I wonder if that's 
honestly better going for that trick. I want to just do this. It's not very good. All right, we're three seconds behind. We lost the second bat lap, so we're still we're losing time everywhere right now. This is so funny. I can't believe this is like the way to play the course. Using the shortcut, the three shroom shortcut. You're just using it every single lap. It's genius. Hmm, I didn't really get the boost there. 133. Okay, so we did improve our time. But, no, we didn't. We lost to our time. Wow. That's not really reassuring. My lap one was garbage though. I'm gonna be I'm gonna beat this right now. Okay. Alright, let's give this another go. No more dealy dally. It's all about minimizing the amount of off-road I get. Taking this turn tighter is gonna be key as well. Because what happens is the more off-road you hit. It's, it's just drastically slowing you down, you know? That's what I'm learning. Okay, that was much better. I'm actually ahead right now. And we're going for this. Gonna do the trick. Gonna do this thing. Oh no, I missed it. I missed it. Okay, no, this is very doable. I'm only 0.6 behind and I totally flubbed the ending right there. This is good. It's really important to... Ah, I missed the trick. I missed the trick. I'm stupid. Dude, I, my Dolphin Asher skills are pretty subpar, not gonna lie. All right, all right. <laughs> the stump is hidden. It's actually really cool. It's, it's behind the bushes, but definitely is gonna take a little bit of, of a learning curve to memorize the position of it and where to jump so I don't end up doing that again. That was not so pretty. Let's see if we can do better here. I wanna be ahead of him every time after this first section. Oh, I did not get, oh, that was so bad. I did not get the trick at the end. Where is it? It's right there. Interesting. Oh, we are like dead even. This is awesome. It's so funny racing one of these staff ghosts <laughs> and having literally an entirely different route and then just coming out the other end and being like, oh, hey, what's up? How's it going? How are you doing, Russo X? I wonder how Enmead feels that his favorite track is a Dolphin Dasher track. I think that's so funny. His favorite custom track is a Dolphin Dasher desktop. I wonder if he knows about this. His favorite track is a Dolphin Dasher track. Now, I'm gonna shout Enmead out, guys. Enmead has this awesome series where he reviews all of the records, all of the time trial records, Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, we beat it. <laughs> this is the shortest episode ever. <laughs> we cheesed it, guys. <laughs> we cheesed it. We beat the expert staff ghost in like three or four tries because of the dolphin dasher, because that is broken. Um, the shortcut. It, yeah, I bet they didn't know how broken it was when they made the community staff ghost. There's no way they knew how broken that was. But anyway, guys, Enmead has a series on the time trial world records. He does recaps every single month. They're very well made. And <laughs> he's probably never gonna do custom track recaps, but it's really cool how he does the Nintendo track world record recaps. You guys should check it out if you haven't already. And he does a great job with that, and I think it's definitely worth a watch. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna give it a try with the Flame Runner, just to do our, play, pay our respects to Russo X, and uh, you know, face him uh, head, head to head. All right guys, we cheesed it with the Dolphin Dasher, and now we're gonna play him with the Flame Runner. Here we go. It's on Russo. He's using his mushroom there. Oh, that's so interesting. I did not expect that. I just realized something. I haven't watched his ghost. I should definitely watch his ghost. Let's see what he's up to. Hmm. Okay. Interesting first lap. We have very different trim strategies here. He does that. And I do this. 
ending thing where I go off for the- I go for the stump. I do the stump- the stump strat, guys. Here we go. Dang it. No. I want to beat it first try. That would be so cool. I don't think it's going to happen, guys. I think I just barely missed out. I'm going to have to go for the stump trick, I think. Okay, we're really close. I'm going to try again. Oh, so close. First try. We got this, guys. We got this. My, my third laugh was a little bit weak there. All right, guys. I think I'm going to save my mushroom for the end, just like I did on my last attempt. And just do that on both lap one and two, and then lap three, I will do what the ghost does, essentially. Dang, that was kind of weak. We'll roll with it, let's see what we can do. I might be able to squeeze out two main turbos there, I feel like it's not worth it. I'm curious if it is or not. Dead even. I didn't even get the trick. If I get the trick both times, it's a it's a guaranteed victory. We'll definitely beat it. I'm missing me turbos left and right here. This is not pretty. This track is so fun to time trial. I actually see why Nick likes it so much. It's kind of a shame it's a Dolphin Dasher course, but at the same time, I'm happy for Dolphin Dashers. They have a record in Mario Kart Wii. Mario Kart Wii CTGP, not Mario Kart Wii. Still really cool. Yes! That's gonna help so much. That's gonna bring me back into it. Oh no! I forgot to use my mushroom! Okay, we're gonna have to improvise. Where is the best mushroom spot? Right here. Oh gosh, I'm making it hard on myself. That was a terrible mushroom spot. <laughs> it's okay guys, we're King Boo and he's... I mean, we're Funky Kong and he's King Boo. We should be good. We should be good, right? Got him, okay. <laughs> Being my point three, wow. <sighs> that track is just like a Nintendo track, so it doesn't take long for me to master. But anyway, I had to show you guys the Dolphin Dasher meme. I had to show you guys how cool that is that um, this track has a Dolphin Dasher record. And you know, Nick, I hope you're watching this video because it's your favorite track and I wanted to play it for the series. All right, guys, that is it for this episode. Give this video a like if you enjoyed and you want another episode of Troy vs. Custom Track. I'm thinking of doing New Moon Manor next. That's, that's what's like on the table right now or one of the newer tracks. And once again, check out Nick's uh, recaps, his world record recaps. I want to give I want to give Nick a shout out because you know I wasted his time when my file corrupted yesterday for a race to 99, and uh, he really deserves it. He's been doing an awesome job on YouTube. His channel is Enmead, so check him out, guys. And yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. As always, I really appreciate your support. Enjoy Funky Kong dancing, and peace. <laughs>